I failed on those, but that's okay. I'm showing you this to to, to prove it that uh, sometimes it doesn't work and it's perfect and it's fine. It's perfectly okay. You don't have to necessarily always uh, finish up and you know make amazing artwork. Sometimes it just doesn't happen and it's okay. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Marta here and I'm delighted I can share with you my afternoon. What happens when the house becomes empty? Kids are gone, dad is gone and you have an hour of freedom. One thing that comes to my mind is let's record a new video. So I jumped in without a plan to studio. I had already my alcohol inks on my desk and I remembered uh, that anytime I've asked you what would you like to see, one of the most common would be, yeah, yeah, break a blank page series. Come on, break a blank pa page. So I was thinking, I've never actually used uh, our alcohol inks for our journaling. Uh, and I thought, is it actually even possible? Our journaling with alcohol inks? So you know what? That's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna try and test. If you don't know the series of how to break a blank page, uh, those are uh, this year, 2019, three pages finished, which I truly love, and you actually loved it as well. Um, but we started some other, and we are about to finish them and make maybe new ones. But today we focus on using alcohol inks. Is it possible to actually uh, our journal with them, color it with them because we know the typical techniques. Well I don't yet, <laughs> I'm still learning but yes there are certain techniques, uh, ideas to be used for this particular product but today we're gonna chance this and do something different. I'm gonna start off with those pages. Oh yes and if you don't know the series I encourage you to check out a series where you look for how to break a blank page, how to break a blank canvas, how to uh, collage. So those are beginners videos and there are uh, lists of uh, all the videos in my on my channel so have a look where are we gonna start I think we're gonna start off by continuing those maybe I'm gonna grab one more those pages and I have used some masking tape here and some leftover uh, papers so I will grab some more papers and uh, we, we stick and glue them down Mm, I found this uh, scraps. I think I have must uh, left it in this uh, part in this um, foil after I was cutting elements for cards. I'm guessing and look, look how many beautiful leftover scraps that is. You nearly wouldn't call them scraps, but I'm. I'm certainly ready to use them so that's what I'm gonna do and I have some washes as well why not I have some doily some die cuts so let's do that um, break a blank page idea the video is for you to uh, kind of jump in in the mood of trying it's for you to feel encouraged to start. I find you many times watching the videos but not necessarily creating with me with me. So if that's the case right now, I would love you to pause the video. Please do pause the video. Uh, if you have time of course, unless you are cooking and watching or you are doing some other crafty things that uh, are not uh, related to what I'm doing, that's fine. But if you are just sitting watching and thinking that oh I'm I don't even I'm not gonna even enter my craft room because it's so messy well then then I, I I would love you to you know what I would love you to do just play your maybe on the tablet or on the phone my video and start cleaning with me so when I chat you can listen and you can clean because clean studio oftentimes it's it's practically very helpful so I encourage you to to do so to try now this is very thick beautiful scrapbook paper and it's thick so we have quite a layer now but that's okay that's perfectly fine now maybe I'm gonna have that and use just a bit uh, which maybe will be nice to use uh, I think maybe I can you know do something like that and maybe like this that's pretty I like that Oh, I love that even more instead of this color, so maybe I swap like that. So I encourage you to try and break a blank page, it's so forgetting, forgetting forgetful. You really don't have to have special tools, it's not about uh, following exactly what I do, quite opposite. It's more to have a companion next to you when you try your own things, you know, so... I think that's nice. Now, the way as I do it, I usually go in sets of two or threes, but feel free to do only one page, that's perfectly fine. I'm happy with that, so I'm gonna leave it. Um, 
so two or three or one it's absolutely fine now every single video has some kind of techniques hidden sometimes I use smaller stamps sometimes I use watercolor sometimes I use uh, more splashes and stuff so sometimes I just use leftovers and recycled things so you know every video is kind of a little bit different I I would imagine so you know uh, it's not about the fitting all million techniques in in this video today I probably will somehow concentrate on having uh, some kind of uh, nice ideas here but they will be probably different to to the previous video and, the t and to the previous video uh, so yeah each time I, I try to think for different things so I think that's nice because then you you're capable of all kinds of things uh, you are learning all kinds of techniques and ideas and you can combine them so I think that's nice now I'm trying to kind of create I don't know what but I'm just playing with texture right now so random texture adds additions now I'm thinking since the alcohol inks are alcohol based and uh, let me see uh, let's say if I have if I have uh, just a run a regular color like here and I go only on the directly on the paper it will so soak in straight away so I'm thinking that I'm gonna chance it and I will also trick it maybe and use um, transparent gesso will it work and help it to move the color around I have no clue but I'm gonna try it <laughs> I'm gonna definitely try it now I like that paper it's nice and delicate so I'm using this time scrapbook papers scraps really leftovers and this here is about to loving what I have using what I have doesn't mean that you cannot buy anything new of course we love new new crafts new things and I, <laughs> me too uh, but I also wish to concentrate on making sure that I use what I have and enjoy the goodies and also enjoy the beautiful ones because sometimes we hoard and store those that are maybe more expensive and we don't use it and I think that's wrong that not wrong that's a pity it's not wrong everyone have their own choice but I think it's a pity use the pretty ones as well you know use the pretty ones okay I like that I don't know where I'm going with it but you know I am going somewhere now I have this gorgeous paper they were in my store I'm not even sure if they still are in my store and uh, this gorgeous collection and I think it's so pretty and I wish to use it. This one is from Cora and uh, it's this Hello Spring collection and I'm thinking that maybe this would be nice to be used somewhere here. I wonder color wise if this is anything oh, I think it would be lovely maybe or if not here maybe here even I don't know it's gorgeous gorgeous paper for a definite so maybe I can actually use this one only so I'm gonna fussy cut that and see if I can fit in somewhere I think possibly here so I'm gonna fussy cut that not exact not exact <laughs> but a little bit I'll see those are my new scissors I see with no this one is so much better straight away Someone said to me that those black scissors are actually good for cutting the tape because they wouldn't catch any glue. I don't know if this is correct at all. I don't want to chance it and check it on my tape, but that's what I read on some of the comments here when I uh, when I opened uh, the the box with the with the scissors uh, on my video with the haul, one of my recent videos. I don't know if that's true or not that would be nice if it's true that the sticky tape doesn't hold to the black uh, metal here I wonder you know what it's nice I like that not so obvious choice but why not to try it now I'm not again the most uh, precise here let's remember I have an hour and I really wish to use that time <laughs> before they comes home uh, so I'm not rushing but you know I really want to make something pretty so fussy cutting it's the last thing <laughs> on my mind right now so that's so pretty ah what's happening with that light I'm gonna leave it at this because I think I like that so, and actually two seconds let's just match to the other ones 
Mm-mm. No, actually, that worked fine for me. Again, it's a personal choice, really, you know. It's a personal choice. <clears throat> Emily's gone on gymnastics, and later on we're going, when she's finishing with gymnastics tonight, we're going to school in the evening because we have VEX uh, meeting, not meeting, like a parents will watch some kind of show that kids put up um, after the VEX, the competition that they want, so a little celebration party really, so it's nice. Uh, so that's what's gonna happen tonight. I don't know if I managed to upload the video. Hopefully I will. Hopefully you know me. I love to have the video up if I have recorded. <laughs> I love to have it up right away. So I'm really collaging now with the paper as you can tell. Collaging very strangely. We have three different papers, three different textures of it because this is very thin, thick, different brands, different colors. But you know what? That looks very pretty to me. And it's nearly done I'd say even. Okay. Uh, what else we can do here? Is there anything pretty that I have? I do! Look at that! And that was here. I'm just looking if I have <laughs> more of prettiness. Oh. How about this here and here? Something like that? Wow! Wee. I love that! It's a little pity that this wasn't there. No, actually no. Do you know what? The first thought was pretty good. So I wonder if I'll just stick it like that and have it like this, kind of. I like that. You know what? I like that. I'm gonna add it like this. So I'm really playing with randomness now, as you can tell. I think those are Graphic 45, very old collection. Uh, there was a time, I think it was in the kit kit uh, set, ages ago, so... Okay, I like that. Now I really hope that my plan about alcohol inks will work. <laughs> we will see about that. Hopefully, hopefully, you know, because it would be nice if we can color the project uh, with the alcohol inks as well, not only the sprays and stuff, so... I love that. You know what? I love that and I don't think it needs any much more like <sighs> super super pretty and <laughs> look how different to those at least for now. <laughs> so let's see, let's move on because we don't know what we're gonna I love the simplicity of this just as it is, but I'm just gonna have a look. No, that's too dark, too much happening here. Mm-hmm. How about this? Mm, I don't know. I, I don't know. Now what about this? Maybe some focal point afterwards we could add. Do you know what? I'm gonna just do it. It's completely different to what I would think to do. But, and I'm using just regular print stick as you can tell. Do you know what? I'm gonna just chance it and see if I can add it and see. Now, three is enough guys uh, for today because I really wish to finish them. So I'm going to put those aside just quickly so they're not on our way in any way. <laughs> oh, I forgot about washes. I'll see if I can stick them as well to the project right now. So let me just put those aside. Okay, washi. I have those gorgeous washi. This one, hmm, do you know what? I love that. I love that and I'm gonna just grab it like that. Super! Why not? It does match color scheme wise, yes. I think the yellow could match here. This washi doesn't <laughs> really stick that well. That's okay. Okay, mm-hmm, nice. That's gonna be like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna use the gray one. They all kind of now will really look like they are together. That they are friends pages. Your best friends, guys, today. At least tonight in the video. Today to the tonight. Okay, now my next step will be to add plenty of, that's the plan, <laughs> plenty of 
transparent uh, gesso, well plenty. You know, make sure that I'm going to cover the whole page because I don't want my ink to soak in to my page, you know. I really want the ink to move. Is it helpful with the gesso? That's the only thing I can think of. So I'm going to try it, you know. I'm going to try it and see if this will actually work and help. So, okay, this one is pretty much done. So I can... You see, I'm helping myself with the... <laughs> instead of using my table, I'm using my next page. So I have all of that. I'm going to put two layers, you know. I just want to make sure that it's... Correct, so I'm going to put one layer on each page now and then I'm going to go for layer number two after this will dry. I like that, I love that, I really think it will. It may be something special here. We may end up with something really, really incredibly special and simple at the same time. So Now, Hannah turned one this weekend, can you believe it? Where the time flew? Where the time go? Tell me. The girls are fine, no sickness, but <laughs> our neighbors next door, in both houses, next to each other, next to us, there are antibiotics and sickness. So I think there's the bug in the whole world happening because anything I hear, it's someone, someone is sick or someone knows someone is sick. So, yeah, uh, it's a pity, isn't it? But hopefully we're turning, at least here, we're turning into summer, well, spring first, summer, and... Yeah, hopefully this will, the bog thing won't last forever and soon it will be over. It was nice and actually it was gorgeous, refreshing today. Uh, we went walking uh, to school to pick up Emily and it was gorgeous weather. A sun, clear blue sky, like never. Well, like in summertime. It rarely happens, but it happens. <laughs> Irish weather is really complicated sometimes, so... <laughs> Okay, I'm so anxious now guys if this will actually work or if I'm making a fool out of myself by thinking that this will actually work, you know. <laughs> but we may just, I don't know, we may be surprised, isn't it? Now I have to say that I loved playing with alcohol inks, but I really, the ordinary way, but I really wish to find ways that I can maybe add journal with it, that I can color my projects with like metal em embellishments, I'm sure it can be colored but others other ways you know I really wish to find out if I can do something else with it so so far so nice <laughs> I really like that I really like that so use any transparent gesso you have or wait until I finish and we'll see, <laughs> see if this is actually a good a good idea at all using it but I think so because must be. It's like a sealer. Transparent gesso, it's kind of like a sealer. It should be fine. Like I'm not saying that the product will work perfectly, but it should help and move and all. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Now, okay, I need this to dry. I need this to dry, so I'm going to put this here and let me come back to you in just two seconds. My pages are dry, so let's start experiment. I found those stickers, which are kind of in a color scheme here, so I may use them. I also found those gorgeous transparent butterflies, which I'm thinking could be nice here somehow. I don't know yet, but that's what came to my mind. And also I have Rubens, um, adhesive Rubens, old again thing with beautiful words, hope. Uh, dream, blessed, so I could use those, I'm thinking. Uh, things that I haven't used for, never, like. So before I'm gonna do that, <laughs> I'm gonna try and chance it, coloring, so. Since those are images and it could be easier to just destroy it, so I'm gonna start off with this one. And I'm thinking that I'm gonna, but I could be wrong, but I'm gonna try it. I'm, I'm gonna actually spray it with water before maybe it's too much water I have no idea but I'll see now I have those I have this brownish kind of color which I think matches could match maybe this gray no this one could be nice what else maybe this or red or I don't have that many colors yet but hopefully in time well I'll see the browns first let's see what happens actually oh wow see 
It is actually. Wow! <laughs> this is crazy beautiful! This is crazy beautiful! OMG! OMG guys! OMG! No? I love this. It looks like stain. It's called latte. Well, no wonder. I love coffee. So that's why it's a perfect color for me. Now, I'm not too sure how it's going to look when it's dry. But I don't really mind how it's going to look. Because it's amazing right now. And it's... I'm, I'm just shocked now. Because, you see, if you chemist... <laughs> If you chemical science, you probably know how the water reacts with alcohol. I'm not, and I I'm not intend to be knowing those things. So I I wasn't guessing what kind of reaction we're gonna have here, but I absolutely am loving here. Now I think it would be amazing to add some other color. How about this tiny tiny bit of yellow, somewhere next to it, you know? Wow! Wow! We I love that. I'm just so very pleased now. I love those stains. I love those stains. This is this is amazing. Unless I'm seeing it differently, but I'm just loving the stain look now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay. I'm gonna go for it, and I'm gonna attach water into this one now especially this one which colors I don't know I don't have the matching really but since it's matching there maybe the oh! oh I love it I love that gorgeous come on move move more it's beautiful <gasps> I like that I like that Help yourself with water. Whoops. Uh oh. More here. OMG. This is sensational now. <laughs> oh, do do. I just posted a photo and asked you do you think it's gonna work to use uh, and break a blank page using. Uh, using the alcohol ink so <laughs> I think you may be texting me back at uh, something I posted it on my Facebook oh wow on my Facebook you know so uh, yeah it's curious to see you uh, I love that so extremely much now I love unexpected this is a little bold and dark I'm gonna there we go it's okay it's fine. It's fine, guys. Don't stress yourself if it's not that perfect. It's fine. We can always work around it with a little bit of white gesso afterwards, you know? So, I think that's minus of it. I don't know if this is actually that washing off easily, but anyway. This one is gorgeous. This one, I have to work around it. Oops, work on it more. Where's my... Oh, it's here. I love it. But I'm gonna grab some black and make it even more. It may be a complete disaster now. That's okay. Let's just do it. And let's not think about it and just do it. OMG. Oh! I knew it. <laughs> I knew it that it's too much, but that's okay. Quickly grab towel. Oh wow. That is staining extremely bad now, which this was much nicer. This is disaster, but that's okay. We fix around that I, somehow. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna fix that. So it didn't work really. What I wonder why? Is that because of not enough water or what? Okay. So you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna dry that, and we're gonna try to fix this after we fix this. <laughs> So let's see. Are you afraid for trying to destroy this one? I'm not. <laughs> let's see. Maybe there was not much, um, um, not much gesso. I don't know. <sighs> what colors? Not much will match here, but I'll see. Maybe I shouldn't be touching the paper at all. Just really the. The water itself, but 
it's hard not to touch touch it you know I think this will work fine I see well it it does react differently than the other one that's fine now what else will match bluish kind of thing if I have some I think this was just the stain was just perfect for the composition maybe that's why it worked nicely this not so much um, I think it's manageable I think it depends on the project and I think we could send certain you see this out evaporates so quickly oh look that's nice now and that's nice that's okay we kind of rescued it here I think it's better than it was I think it's uh, it evaporates uh, quickly so it's harder to work around oh, see this one is acting differently this one doesn't soak in like the others this is like making those kind of movements so I don't understand why maybe ink is different ink to ink maybe I don't know I don't know but you know what it's all learning curve doesn't look pretty I know what you're thinking you're thinking OMG Marta this is bad yes it is let's dry that let's dry them all and come back to you in just two seconds back to you guys let's be honest here I failed those two pages are just terrible I made a mistake it didn't work I just failed the coloring in those two pages are oh, using alcohol inks just no good it didn't work it was just wrong altogether why is this happening I'm not too sure because this one is just amazing and pretty and I'm trying to find a solution and to do that and to find out what happened is I made a brand new page I made a yet again similar to this one a more abstract kind of instead of having images like we have image here image image I went for abstract for take for some two colors like bluish because that's the color inks I have that's why I really went for them and uh, I'm not gonna rescue those guys I hope you don't mind you know many times you've asked me do you ever fail do you ever throw away projects it it, it looks that you always works for you it always is perfect even if I think that you were doing wrong you just ended up with something gorgeous amazing at the end thank you for all those kind words really thank you and I love uh, you thinking this but no that's the example I failed sometimes our tests are for it or most of the time the tests are for it to see to tr to test to try and I'm okay to just simply throw it away and not rescue it I'm not gonna rescue it so I covered it in the meantime with j transparent gesso uh, just so we can see if it actually is the fact that we had images here or not so this is gonna be a lesson for us both for you and for me now and the colors I'm gonna use are those because this is exactly what I have and kind of those and um, maybe this is gonna be disaster but you know what I'm about to find out I'm gonna put generous amount of water mm-hmm and I don't know what I've done here that it worked <laughs> uh, but that's okay I and I'm gonna just simply touch it rather than maybe it's because it's so dark as well that it's just so oh that it's so different maybe I need to right away color it I don't know oh, I have little water so that's why it doesn't, doesn't want to stay I already love it you see and do I have more water I do of course instead of going to the sink I'm gonna just put one water oops one water to the other one those are magical bottles. <laughs> no, they're not magical. Those are from Gliscour, from uh, her, her uh, conditioner that I use. That's why I have so many. If you've been asking, because some of you have been asking if this is anything special. <laughs> no, it's not. So, okay, I can use that now. So let's see if I can actually work the magic around here or not. But I can already see the difference, you see, because I don't know what happened here. It just was not happening, was just not working. I have no clue why. Uh, there were just blobs of color. Maybe the fa maybe the, it's depending on the paper as well, type of paper. I don't know, guys. But I hope that this is telling you something. 
uh, oopsie I hope this is telling you the most important is to try to experiment to enjoy the process of of exploring and discovering and if it's wrong just throw it away and start over that's all you know that's all I certainly ha have a lot of um, have a lot of color now oh I love that now look look this is just happening same as the, the the brown one look it's the same now it's beautiful and the family is back home <laughs> I don't know if Hanita is asleep or not but yeah I hear them coming I love that and you see it's maybe the fact that this is both of them are more abstract circle-ish lines and the staining doesn't look bad and doesn't affect which in here it just it just was not working I don't know there was no flow somehow there was no flow. It stained the paper right away, badly, especially here. <sighs> I don't know, but I hope that my trial and my mis sharing my mistake with you is gonna help you out in exploring, experimenting, and believe in it that it's okay to make a mistake. It's okay. It really is okay to be wrong, you know, and just try it again. Will I change this green one? Sure, why not? Why not? Yay! It's gorgeous. Wow! I love that now, and you know me. I wouldn't be, I would, I would, I wouldn't say it differently if I didn't like it. I, if I don't like it, you know that. You would be first to know. You would feel it in my, in my, in my voice, and you know that. I love that. Now we can definitely finish that, and you know, have some kind of say here. And I, I think it's gorgeous. What? I think it's gorgeous. So let's dry this one as well. It's beautiful. Wow. I love, love, love that. So 50 50. Two worked, two didn't. Let's dry that. Hi. Hello. How are you? Really good. How was the. Was it capoeira or gymnastics today? Capoeira. Oh, sorry. I said gymnastics. Capoeira. How was it? Good. Good. Very good. Did you enjoy? Mm hmm. That was long, an hour that's pretty long, isn't it? Yeah. And wow. Wow. You've it got don't, nice here. Those didn't work, look. And I'm coloring because with I didn't blend. Yeah, just something happened wrongly. And I didn't Oh, those are these things. Yes, I'm trying wow. to color it with alcohol inks. So it worked in this and I loved it to bits. Wow. Mm. But those two were horrible so I said you know what I'm gonna try it again so I made this page and I I said let's just test it even more so I'm gonna dry that off camera and then I'm, we can finish it mm, Emily is eating her kind of I don't know supper not even no omelette yes it's the first time no. I've ever done omelette actually and it's with the bananas, bananas and some pear. pear as well yes so my first time ever mm. and we ate it all that's, that's what's left. That's the last piece. <laughs> that's the last piece for you, Han. <laughs> Would you like it? No, no, thank you. Okay, I dried the other page as well. Let's see if I can fit... Uh, oops! If I can fit any of those letters. Oh, no. Uh, those are old, as I said, Robin's stickers. So I hope that I can maybe... Fate, no, bless, no, dream. If I can, I, I'll try it and see if I can actually put the dream in here. Maybe the surface should be, probably it should be um, more straight to do that. But I'm gonna see if I can actually do it. So, let's see. I haven't done that for ages. I think I used it once only. And I don't even know if this is work regards the genie Mac. I can't see much. I don't even know if this is gonna work because of the how old it is actually. Okay, let's see. If the surface shouldn't be more different, I don't know. Maybe it's gonna be our second disaster of the day. <laughs> but that's fine. It's okay to experiment, guys. And if you have to throw it away your art piece because you're not happy with it, that's fine. The best people make a mistake. The most famous people make a mistake. Y you, your neighbor, your friend, and it's okay. Same for in sport. If you are, you know, not running that 
beautifully today because you have no energy same for art if it's just not happening these that this day so that's it you know will I see oh it does work oops okay the dream I could go better wow now I have this flaky something so I see if I can rub that in there oh wow this is gonna be nice and I have all kinds of different colors yeah I probably should just leave it and then rub it because otherwise I rub in dirt am I correct you you would correct me guys if you were here next on my desk next to my desk OMG this is stunning now it didn't work as I wish fully but that's fine wow it's beautiful. Oh wow! I like that. I mean, it's not perfect, but who says it has to be perfect? Oh wow! I am loving that. It worked, but. Maybe, maybe not as perfect as it could have, but you know what? I think it's gorgeous. I can actually take a pencil or pen and, and just make it more visible. There is a hope for us. Hope. So I'm going to put hope next to that one because there is a hope that we end up with <laughs> something nice so let's see I think the gold flakes oops the goldy flakes are slightly better but oops the hope hope has to be like okay the surface is definitely not even not even close to be even not even close to be not even to be even uh huh. Okay. So we're trying to kind of leave that. Oopsie. And maybe I'm gonna get embossing powder this time for this one. Oops. I probably, if I look closely, I would see if things are already off or not. Oh, this one is not really. I shouldn't be at it yet. That's okay. Look. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. Voila. Now, if I'll take my embossing ink, if I find some nice embossing ink, which is what color? Maybe blue? No. I feel some, maybe some dark color. Like, well, maybe like this blue. Maybe this one. Why not? I hope this will work. If I'm not mistaken anything. Emily, you're very quiet. Yes, I'm very interested. Yeah? To see what, if it works. Yes. The first one is very cool. Mm. The dream. Oops. Let's see if this will actually work. <laughs> It should stick, but I, I I may be wrong. It did. Oh, wow. It did. Wow. Yeah. Let's just put this aside. Kind of don't sit on the chair, Emily. Because <laughs> <laughs> the embossing powder is there. And mom, don't sneeze. Don't say, yeah, I'm not going to sneeze. I'm thinking to outline that. A little bit because we can't see that dream much so maybe just a little bit at least to see if we can manage to I think so I think this will be slightly better because it's a pity it, it's beautiful and I think it is really lovely. Art didn't work out as well, but it's okay. It's beautiful and I love it, but I think 
it could be improved. There's always room for improvement. And uh, this doesn't want to really cooperate with me. What about just a regular pen? Yeah, maybe like this. messy but I like that 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 I didn't work that's okay <laughs> okay dream same for hope will I do anything with the hope or is it visible enough maybe just a little bit See, I thought that this uh, embossing ink will be darker, but it's actually semi-transparent. <laughs> it would help probably, Marta, if you read the color description, but it's still pretty because it's shiny, so you see you have ups and downs. It is nice. Nice. Are you doing homework, Ems? Good girl. Okay. Now. I love it. I like that. It's not finished. We're far from finished, guys, because one of the most important now is to do a little bit of shading here and there. And I'm going to use, I'm going to just to see if I can use my regular pencil, my graphite pencil. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Or if not the graphite, I'll see the other one. The charcoal. Charcoal, 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 charcoal pencil. And this will be better. Definitely charcoal pencil works best without uh, primer, so it works and it doesn't want to blend in that well unless it's not, unless it's somewhere uh, where there's no gesso, it works better, so mm, pretty strange to know, good to know though. I'm gonna try it again, this one maybe, Cause sometimes I feel that some of them pencils they don't want to cooperate with me. That's fine. You can always grab a different one. No, but you know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna sit down. <coughs> While I am doing that, I hope you can see you can. The camera is rolling. So I'm gonna sit down. I love shadowing moments because it just finishes off nicely the project and as you know it worked so it is possible to art journal and color with alcohol inks but it's not that obvious not that simple you just have to kind of try it maybe and don't get discouraged if it's not gonna work out you know so Oh, the dogs are barking, not our dogs, neighbor dogs are barking, evening time is happening. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to see if I love it. <laughs> this is not the best of my abilities, I guess, or the best of my liking, but I like it. I like that I went out of my comfort zone and tried something different and, you know, trying to compete with myself, really. That's great. So I encourage you to try it, too. I meant to do my nails tonight, not record a video, by the way. <laughs> but when Lucas was leaving and he said, yeah, I'll take Hannah as well. 
Uh, why don't you just record something? Woohoo! Yes! It was actually Lucas's idea indeed. So, And Emily goes, do not use alcohol links without me. <laughs> I did, but that's what you said, isn't it? <laughs> so yes, imagine this! One is telling me to record, another is telling me what to use, what not to use. Crazy, what a family that is. I like that now, guys. I'm adding those little drawing-ish th things, like little whatever doodling, doodling things. And I'm really free-handed here, so, you know, whatever. It's just happening naturally in my hand, so... I'm gonna leave it for now and maybe come back to it in just a second. I'll see what's the story here. I'm gonna go around my edges as well and see if I can turn this piece into even better piece. It's good to make mistakes sometimes. Well, always it's good to make mistakes, learn from them and grab some important info. Uh, I still didn't figure out really completely of what happened, why it didn't work out in the first place, but I'm glad that I could actually show you that process and instead of hiding and editing this whole thing out from the video, I, uh, I just kept it. I want you to see how <laughs> it goes for me too sometimes and I'm not ashamed to show you mistakes. So. Don't be ashamed yourself to to have mistakes and don't feel discouraged because it's not working. It takes time to work, it takes good practice, good materials sometimes as well. You know, a lot is taken into consideration for great work if you aspiring for great, great, great work. But definitely, um, I oh, much prefer this one because there is this is very dark as well. But Maybe I can squeeze in some white and uh, bring that even to more to life, I'll see in a second. Uh, so yes, there's always ro room for improvement, there's always room for uh, trying different things. Now I'm gonna maybe... Maybe this will help. If I can actually... It doesn't want to work, so I don't understand why is that happening. Yeah, I see. It works beautifully and it's nice when it's not on gesso. On gesso, it's not happy. Mm. Have you got a lot of homework, Emmy? No, I'm nearly finished. <gasps> Mom, we have to go to my school in half an hour. Half an hour, okay. No, 25 minutes. What? Okay. 35 past 6. Okay, I better finish off now. And come back to it when we finish, when we come back from school. Okay. I know that we have to go, I, I remember that, but I didn't think it's that late already. Did I. Yeah, that's okay. Hannah is still asleep, mm -hmm. which is good, so she will have a good mood now when we go to school and she wakes up. Oops, you didn't see that? I ripped the paper. <laughs> okay, but before I leave, you guys, I love you, but I leave you. I'm gonna use some white gesso to, to, yay! Now we're talking to lighten up a little bit to make some kind of, um, yeah, to make it brighter basically, to make some uh, brighter spots where it just works with our the whole piece. It just yeah, I love it now. Now I love it even more. And I'm thinking to do the same here. I don't know where. Maybe here it would be nice. Oh, yes. Oh, there we go, there we go. There we go, there we go. There we go. Wow. Now that's beautiful. Use your fingers more often, guys. Trust your fingers rather than brush. I love that. I really, really do. I really, really, really. 
really love you. Okay, yeah, I love you now, Paige. You are pretty. You are pretty. Although we will do some splashes and at the end, but you see how white is changing tr tremendously the whole piece, and you're thinking, wow, now. I hope you are, because <laughs> I'm thinking this. Wow, what happened here? What happened here? White bomb hit, and it's just changed completely. It changed everything now, isn't it? I love that now. Oh, I know. We're missing some butterfly. How about some butterfly? I'm just gonna add it for two seconds just to see. Yay! Maybe actually this is a good choice. Yeah, possibly. And then addition of some um, element helps to kind of bring everything in together so I love 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 that I'm so happy now I am I was worried but I kept going I kept pushing I kept believing it it will somehow turn out okay like okay -ish. <laughs> okay -ish. I love that now I really do love both so I'm gonna finish it that and come back to in just whatever an hour or two <laughs> <laughs> See you in a bit guys. Good morning, hello, hello the next day. I didn't have a chance to actually come back to you last night. So it's not even morning I should say because it's 4 o'clock <laughs> nearly uh, or 3 o'clock so it's late but I'm happy to see uh, the dry pages. I think they look really pretty and we're just missing bits and pieces, maybe some white splashes, maybe some focal point uh, and I have those transparent butterflies here so I'll see uh, if I'll add them to the project. And I have this Posca pen that I love and I think that maybe I'm gonna use that for my splashes and maybe I'm gonna do some kind of... I was thinking to maybe add some finishing touches like I usually do. I love l making little dots and that kind of way. But splashes anyway would be nice I think. I love this Oscar pen. They come in all sizes so you can have a look in your local store. Same for here. Little white dots I usually nice and fun to add. It's like a little little additional feature to your project. Uh, again, it's very personal. What would you like to add? It could be dots, it could be hand drawing, it could be anything really. No, I think I have to go around it to make it evenish. So it could be lines, it could be anything really guys. So whatever whatever kind of rocks you bought. Now Posca pen, there you go, you can actually go like that with it and it creates those splashes and I totally love them like that. Now there we go. I'm gonna try and see if I can do black splashes. Uh if it's oops. Ooh. Did it go? No. I uh, two seconds. I don't want too much pigment to go. So I'll see if I can... Oh, there we go. So gentle. So yeah, it works. The surface must be dry. So that way it's not gonna dissolve too much, I guess. I love that. Now I'm gonna have trouble to clean my desk. <laughs> In the meantime, I was adding elements and fussy cutting them and I thought that maybe this hope could be slightly bigger. Uh, no, not slightly bigger, whiter, so it would be more visible. It's really, <laughs> I don't know, it's the perfectionist of me is kind of talking. So, okay, hope. I like that now. Maybe even more. Lucas, do you mind to turn down the telly? Sorry, I forgot. Thanks. <clears throat> and I, I may do that same here. 
actually. A little shadow kind of thing. That's nice. Oh, I have a little bit of... Now, I do love to have this butterfly here and I think it's absolutely perfect. So I'm gonna glue it down. Oh, no glue. Glue is finished. That's okay, I have more. So I'm thinking to add this butterfly here and have it standing out a little bit from the page, which is perfectly fine. I think the hope now looks so much better, guys. Well, maybe not that it's so much better looking, but it's more visible. I don't know. I just like to sometimes make sure that it's perfect. Although I'm teaching you, telling you to not be perfect, but you, you need to be happy with your make. So if, if you keep on going and adding and changing until you're happy, that's perfect then. Now, how about if I add more white things? It's funny how the color have changed because of the inks. It kind of transferred the color of ink, if you can see. So they're no longer very much white, but that's fine actually. Uh, I may add some here. Oh, nice. I like that. I love that actually. I'm trying to record this video since yesterday. I had a few trials, but <laughs> each time I tried Hannah either woke up or there was dinner time or something else. So, uh, yet again, this video <laughs> was. Uh, I really wanted it to be done sooner, but life happens. I have to do one more thing. Uh, um, that I supposed to do but ah well it is what it is <laughs> I have those um, embossed uh, volume flowers and I have those volume tr semi trans no, well, transparent white uh, butterflies I don't know <clears throat> if I play with all of them somewhere like that I like it like this maybe play this kind of a uh, separate video I love it like that now I'm going to attach it. So, uh, do you know what? I'm going to use double-sided tape, actually, not a glue gun. A separate video about it, how to make those, how to stamp it and what to use. There is a volume f embellishment on my YouTube, so you can have a look if you're interested and curious of what's that. Uh, uh, uh. Hard to take it off, that's okay. Let me show you from close. That's how it, how it looks. Let me, no, actually, let me bring that camera closer to you so we can have a look. So like this, or we have some, we have some gorgeous leaves, or we could have <clears throat> different leaves. So whatever stamp you own, you could make embellishments from them using, um, using, using um, vellum and embossing powder. Okay, I like that now. So, by the way, Vex uh, celebration yesterday was amazing. And to know how much effort kids put into the competition, um, that they won the Ireland overall, uh, I think it was 130 schools competing this year. And Emily's class won it. And I think that's pretty amazing achievement. So, very proud of the whole class. Uh huh. There we go. Now, maybe I'll add it, a little butterfly with, with glue, hot glue, like this, perfect. And one more butterfly, maybe here or, or is it too much or what? I don't know. I love it, even if it's too much, sometimes I just love it. Uh, but maybe it is indeed a little bit too much. How about just leaving it as it is? Why not? What about, actually, two seconds, two seconds, two seconds. What about if I add this one here? <gasps> Wouldn't that be just fabulous? It would be indeed. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> uh-huh. Oh, wow, I love it. I'm holding it until the glue, the, um, the hot glue will dry so it will kind of hold upwards the wingies. So I think it's nearly dry. It's nearly dry. 
Oh wow! Isn't it that just so cute? I can actually do similar here, I hope. Gently. Yes, like that. Okay. I think my darling, my friends, we can call those finished. Wow! Let me show you those two pages that haven't worked out, uh, just to show you. And I do believe you can color with alcohol inks, with those little beauties. You can color it, but it's not always working. You have to be careful uh, because looking at those, you could see that it bleeds differently. It just didn't happen, it just didn't work, didn't move around as I wished. It happened beautifully on both two, both the two Two of those two of <laughs> both of those two pages, I failed on those, but that's okay. I'm showing you this to to, to prove it that uh, sometimes it doesn't work and it's perfect and it's fine. It's perfectly okay. You don't have to necessarily always uh, finish up and you know make amazing artwork. Sometimes it just doesn't happen and it's okay. We just have but a worse day or maybe we use wrong materials or it's just I don't know. I don't know. It's just not happening. So. Um, I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope I proved you that even alcohol inks could be used as your coloring uh, coloring uh, addition. Definitely. I, I, I think those two, latte and sunshine yellow, sunshine yellow, those two colors here were amazing for a kind of old, older, vintagey, rusty look. But tea would be equally well good if you don't have it. Tea and coffee make beautiful uh, vintagey old look stains so I'm gonna wrap up at that finish at that so I can quickly upload it and share the video with you because I cannot wait to show you the results so thank you so much I love you loads uh, I hope you enjoyed another how to break a blank page video and uh, more to come so stay tuned oh, oh by the way thank you so much for signing up for a newsletter from my website that is coming up <laughs> probably soon <laughs> uh, there is over I'm not telling how many but over hundred hundreds hundreds and thousands actually sign up already to receive the info when we open and launch the website we will have beautiful new stock uh, totally new that uh, it's on the current shop so have a look you can sign up I'll give you a link at the end of this video uh, in the comment section below and that's why everything is just slowing down because we do it the website ourselves all the photos everything we do ourselves so it takes time basically to copy keep up with everything and the newborn in the house the teenager in the house so yes uh, as much as I love it it just takes time so sometimes I'm late with replying to your emails or liking your comments or interacting I wish to have maybe like 10 hours extra a day and two more hands and I think I'll be probably fine by then <laughs> thank you so much I'm sending you massive hugs and kisses wishing you a wonderful nearly weekend because it's what well the rest of the week for now um, yes and I hope you will have some crafty time yeah so happy crafting bye